Hi there everyone, this is Andelini once again and we are here to let's play some more Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Last time we beat the golem in Machine Tower and Resident of Self a new ability called War Kick, which we should now put to juice. Oh, Venus card. Let's see what the Venus, Venus card does. Wonder where it is. Venus is here. Now let's see. Hmm. Some kind of an energy field. It says. I don't know. Inflict damage is increased by 75%. Oh yeah. Might be quite good. Some points of this game. No, I don't want. I don't want to keep them ever across. I love it. Now, what shall we do about it around now? Well, I found out there are some things you can do. You heat shades can go to. Should I tell you where? Okay, this is where we couldn't go last time. So, let's just do it now. With wall kick up here. And then let's whip some Huena ass. And get on with it. Variables. They move fast, but they are quite simple to defeat if you know when to duck. They'll miss you every time if you duck right next to them. Like that. So it's not that hard, once you know what you're doing. Die. Take it. Alright. That's about it then. There were no secrets in these walls if I remember correctly, so no reason really to explore that much. Some gargoyles who are soon to be dead. May I tell you that? Let's see now. Okay, nothing is up there. Or oh, there is something, but we can do anything about it. It's something even more better than the wall kick. Okay, and we are back in audience room. armor. wonder if it's better than... Well, it is, but the intelligence goes quite low. Well, I still use it. Rarely do I use anything I need intelligence for. Let's just get some health. Now let's see where should I be going. Here could be something. Right down here. Right here. Where we have HP max up. And once we go down here, we'll find a heart max up. Quite convenient if you ask me. Stupid skeletons. You may just get out of my way. Here's a wooden box which we can't break, even though we can break stone blocks. Strange are this game came uh, routines or whatever they are. Never question the laws of the gaming. They'll question you back. I should get a medal for that move. Oh well. Nothing more up here. So I... I guess I'll do something radical. 
which I'll, I'd never do in real life. Which is... Jump down at the very hole, they just drop me down. Just fall uh, uh, something that... That long and... You'll die for sure and... Yet Nathan is like nothing. Now, is that fun or not? I mean, I ask you. Well, that's up to you, whatever you're like doing it or not. Oh well. And back here. Back to basics, people. As they say. Let's see here. Wooden box. Poison worms. Get out of the way. There wasn't anything there. Oh, there was, but I already got them, so... No reason to go there anymore. Come on, Earth Demon, I know you're here. And now you did. Hmm. What should I talk about? This is just something I go for collecting items around here. Some things I can get now, because I couldn't back then. Like here. So I think I should think about something interesting to speak about. Oh yeah, my fellow Europeans, if there's any, anyone outside Finland watching this, which I doubt. Uh, Europe is some song contest is coming again, yeah. Well, there's almost half a year until it actually takes place in Germany. But hey, anyway. We in Finland are starting our, our national finals next week. And I'm so pump pumped for it. So pumped, I gotta tell you. Oh, my personal favorite wins. Although I doubt it. My, my favorites never win anything. What else? Nothing really happening in my life. Same old things. Things that do happen. Things come and go. I don't know why one of my friends is acting strange. He's being quite mean to me. Or not mean in that way, but something like... He wasn't like that before. I don't know what has happened, but... Oh well, anyway. Who cares? That's just life. Life happens, things happen. I always have this saying that don't stick your nose to the places it won't belong. And I'm gonna stand by that. I won't go investigating other people's problems if they even if they wanted to, you know. I have something like my motto is take care of yourself. If you can't take care of yourself, then you can't take care of anyone else either. That's the way it goes. So I guess it's just better. Just better things to mind your own business and do things. Let's see now. Why am I going here? There's nothing more in here to do, so. Just going back the way, way I came. Back to catacombs. Through the catacombs. Die. Ouch. Poisoned. Takes already three out of my whole energy bar. Four. Oh my god. Three. Four. This game can decide whether it wants me. And those keep dropping those magic countless. Like I didn't have enough magic countless already. The strange thing in this game actually is that there's no shops. In Symphony of the Night there was a shop. And even in Kobe's last ca Castlevania before this one. At, uh, uh, Castlevania and Legacy of Darkness for the Nintendo 64 had shops. 
though you couldn't sell anything there. But this game has no, none. You can't buy anything, you can't sell anything. Easy as that. That's a strange decision. So everything you have to cut, have to find those items. You don't have to find anything, but it's really... I'd do them if I were you. So, you just have to grind them from enemies. And it might be very time consuming, I tell you. Even, especially if you're in potions. Looking for potions. They don't even give you that much energy, but bosses can be very difficult at times. And they might just literally kick your ass. But enough of that. There's a new area called Eternal Corridor where we have enemies called Gorgons. They look like bulls. And ectoplasms attacking. I don't need to tell you that if a Gorgon breathes, touches you, then you're petrified. So beware. Come on. Die, stupid Gorgon. Thank you. Stupid Gorgon. Well, enough of that. I don't really care. Put it on knights and a flame demon. That's the strong strongest attack. It's quite hard to dodge really, but Yeah. I always get hit by it. He can take pretty. Hefty damage too, and I'm almost dead. Wow. I should start to be wary a little bit. Okay, next area of Eternal Corridor. We have Weary Bears. They just walk towards you, but if you get too close, they'll swipe you with their claws. It hurts too, so beware. Attack them from distance. It's always the most convenient way to do. Six attacks will do. If these them just spit their fireballs at you. This is the most best way to kill very bears. Ouch. Oh, you little. Attack and back. These evil hands. Well, they just keep coming, don't they? Ouch. Damn, I'm almost dead here. That's a, just do that, it's a easier to be dodged attack. Die. Why won't you die? Thank you. I don't want holy water. And I want these evil hands to stop coming right now. Damn, let's up with them. It's over here. Wow. If I won't find a safe point soon, I'm dead. There is not a save point. I'm sure of that. Organs. They must be there now. Take it very carefully. I can't take many, many, many more hits until I'm dead. I already said it, didn't I? Beast damage actually is used. You don't have to do anything if you just run. Oh no, 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 no. Thank you. Save 
point around, if I remember correctly. Even just this I have to wear. safe spot now. Just run over here, and here's your safe spot. Uh, I'll be calling it quits for this episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. I'll see you again later. For now, this is Andy signing off. Thank you, and goodbye.